As in previous movements, where Mahler used the emotional associations of marching bands and bird calls to evoke realms of experience beyond the concert hall, the sixth and final movement of Mahler's Third Symphony uses the form of a chorale, or harmonized hymn, to evoke a world of contemplation and mysterious expectation. the epigraph that he cobbled together from bits of a Wunderhorn poem that he puts at the beginning of this movement. Uh, Vater, sie an die Wunden mind, kein Wesen lass verloren sein. Father, look upon my wounds, let no creature be lost, roughly. So it's actually a prayer. What's a prayer? What does it mean that in some sense Mahler is praying with us in this final movement without words. I think a prayer for him is not about gabbing at God, telling God what we need or pouring out all of our self-deprecations. A prayer at this depth seems to be about profound attunement to the spirit of life. Mahler was a religious person who was not at all dogmatic. He was born a Jew, he converted to Catholicism, and yet he felt at home in neither religion. His search was a philosophical one, not a dogmatic or a religious one in the, in the narrow sense of the word. Uh, it was all embracing. In the first five movements of his third symphony, Mahler has taken us through the creation of the world and living things to the ascent of consciousness and human community. The sixth movement, What Love Tells Me, goes one step beyond and brings the symphony to its musical and philosophical climax. What Mahler does here is incorporate perhaps the essential gesture of struggle that we've heard throughout the symphony. Suffering isn't banished from this symphony. It's as though pain is rolled into the experience of love, as though by remaining open to the suffering in the universe, we are able to participate 
in the depth and the joy of this cosmic love. For Mahler, love is the way out from the will's drive to interpret all experience for its own advantage. In Mahler, we believe that every human being in the world is connected and that if he hurts himself, part of the universe is being hurt. What love tells me is an expression of my feelings towards all beings. The music takes deeply painful paths, but gradually resolves into a blissful confidence. The joyful science. The joyful science. At one point, Mahler had considered calling the entire Third Symphony by that name. It is taken from the title of a book by Nietzsche, for whom the word science meant the pursuit of knowledge in all its forms. Here, Nietzsche envisions a possible next step in the evolution of human consciousness. He writes, If one could burden one's soul with all the losses, hopes, and victories of humanity, if one could encompass all of that in a single soul and crowd it into a single feeling, this would surely produce a happiness that humanity has not yet known. A happiness full of love and creative power, full of tears and laughter. This godlike feeling would then be called humanness. Imagine a work so large that it mirrors the entire world. One is only an instrument the universe plays upon. 